Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in, the, in this video I will show you how to configure network using the IP command. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know in previous versions of Linux in order to configure network or network interfaces we use actually the ifconfig command so we use the type ifconfig in order for example to get our network interfaces configuration but if i type it here you can see this command is not more available because it has been deprecated so the new versions of the linux actually try to use another command called ip so we'll use this command IP in order to configure our network interfaces. So let's get started. So I will clear that first. So in order to display all your network interface configurations, we type the command IP A. So A actually stands for address. So you can type just A or A double G R if you want. So here we go. So the, the advantage of this command is that it shows you all interfaces, I mean the enabled one and disabled ones, okay? So here you can see that I have two interfaces. The first one is actually our loop back interface as usual. And the second one here is called ENP2S0, okay? And here you can see the init address or IP version 4 address okay and of course it shows you also the init 6 or IP version 6 IP address okay so this is all the information that you get if you execute this command IPA okay so let's say that we want to add another address to our second interface so it's pretty easy all you have to do is to tap the IP A and uh, the add because we want to add another IP address so we can specify the IP address here so for example 192.168.1.53 if you want also slash and we provide the subnet mask so I'll just type 24 for example okay and here we have to add the keyword dev dev stands for device because here we have to specify which device we are adding this IP address so as I have only one here I will type it n p 2 s 0 so here you see operation not permitted this is normal because we must be root in order to execute this command so I will just type 2 or just uh, I will repeat the command with sudo command okay IPA at 192.168.153 slash 24 and our device which is ANP 2S0 We provide our root password and here we go the command now is executed so let's verify that with APA Et voila as you can see now I have two IP addresses to our network interface and previously if you want if you used the ifconfig command actually you will notice it shows only one IP address so this is the advantage of using the new IP command and also another useful trick if you want just to display just the IP4 you can specify that IP minus 4 because you want just to display the IP version 4 IP addresses and A and here we go you can see now I have only our IP version 4 IP addresses okay 
So let's say that we want to delete the second IP address that we have added. So as always, always using the sudo command IP, then A, but this time instead of doing add, we are doing delete. So I will just type del, okay? And we specify the IP address that we want to, to remove, 192.168.1. 53 slash 24 and of course we have to provide our device which is ENP2 S0 here we go so let's verify that we have removed this IP address and voila as you can see now we have only one IP address we can also uh, enable and disable an interface so in order to enable an interface it's pretty easy we type IP first of all let me just type sudo command then IP then link link its keyword here option and we set and here we provide the name of our interface which is ENP 2s0 and here we can specify even down or up so let's make it down for example here we have disabled our interface and if we want to enable it once again all we have to do is to change the keyword down with up so we never really want to disable or enable your interface this is the command that you want to use okay so let's first verify it's actually down. Okay, so now as you can see here in the display, it is down. Okay. Let me clear that. Another useful command if you want to display your neighbors or the ARP cache, we can also get that using the command IPN for neighbor and show so here we have nothing this is normal because our interface is down we have to make it first up so I'll change keyword down to up here we go Let's ping another IP address, for example, just to get our cache. So I will just here ping my router. I think that's enough. And here you can see the our ARP cache here is being displayed or our neighbor actually it's been displayed which is 192.168.1.4 which is actually our router okay and here the status is reachable okay you can also display the routing table with IP route command IP not type IP route there we go so this is our default route here in this Linux box and finally you can get some statistics because if you notice whenever we execute this command here IPA we don't have any actually statistics about our network interface so in order to get some statistics about our network interface you can type the command IP minus S for statistics and link. Okay. And here we go. Now you can get some statistics about our networks. For here, for example, you can see how many transmitted bytes. Okay. And received bytes. Also the same thing for packets, for errors, for dropped okay so this is the statistics that's gonna help you if you want to see if there is any problem 
when you are dealing with network troubleshooting here. So, of course, you can still use the ifconfig command if you want, but in this case, you have to install another package called NetTools, then you get access to the ifconfig command. But it's uh, advisable to use this command IP a or IP because it has many features over the old one okay and because of the development in the kernel many features that has been added and if you want to get advantages from these features you have or you must use IP command here so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.